Catch a vibe with Big Hass only on Pulse. Pulse 95. And we are going to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace, love, and blessings. And hello and welcome to another week and another episode of Catch a Vibe with me, Big Hass. Catch a Vibe is actually Pulse's first and only music dedicated radio show. It airs every Saturday and Sunday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And, and alhamdulillah, so far it's been incredible. I want to shout out all the musicians, all the singers, all the songwriters, all the music enthusiasts. You guys are amazing. Thank you for you know coming through and having these discussions. The purpose of Catch a Vibe is to humanize the artists, not just to only see them perform or sing. The purpose of it was to get to know them. And man, oh man, tonight's guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a truly special one. Uh, I want to thank Zawaya Walk um, because I got introduced officially to her with, with the amazing, very important event called Key for Palestine, um, done by Zawaya Walk. A big, big, big round of applause for them. And so I, I saw her. I've seen her on Instagram before. Uh, she's an incredible kanoon player. Um, she plays the piano as well. But I love this instrument so much. And when I got to know her, you see, this is the catch. When I got to know her, I thought she's very, very classy, very humble, and truly talented. And the fact that she was doing something for uh, for Palestine as well, like that, it all kind of circled together. And I was like, okay, I need to get this. I need to get to know this human being and get to know her more. Ladies and gentlemen, from Armenia to the world, let's put our hands together for the amazing Bella Papakian. We're going to say hello, Bella. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing very great. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, you're such an amazing talent. And we want to get to know you, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for having me at 95 Pulse. <laughs> bless you, bless you. We're going to start with the first question, obviously, um, kanun or music generally. How did it get, I know that your father is a musician. Um, how did how did music get into your life? I I can humbly say that uh, I think it's in the blood, you know, okay. when my dad is a musician and my brother as well is a musician. So uh, since I was born, I was like listening to traditional music, to international music every day. And since the six uh, years old, since I was six, wow. I started to play the instrument. It's called kanun. Kanun. Yes. At six. Yes. Uh, that, I was six years old. That's crazy. Uh, d- wow. OK, so. Um, it's interesting you say obviously you were born into music do you remember kind of the first so what was the house like was it always filled with 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 music what's tell me about the vibe yeah like i remember when i was like three or four years old my dad was always having like concert trips and he was traveling and he was coming back he was putting his instrument aside or he was practicing at home what did he play he plays the kamancha it's an instrument that is similar to violin it sounds like violin but it's more traditional version of the violin wow So, so he used to obviously uh, go to these concerts. D- did you ever go with him? Yeah, of course. He oh, was wow. Like, he used to take me with him. Bless. Yes. Uh, did, did that, do you think, did that help uh, in you loving music more? Like yeah. you got attracted to it more? Of course. Seeing uh, him performing, it was a r- true inspiration for me. Wow. Um, so, okay. When, when would you say you started, okay, you start playing at six or, or, or so, when did you like really loved the kanun? Like really loved it. I think I was uh, at grade second in the music school okay. uh, when my teacher uh, told me that I can participate to a concert concourse. It's like festival. Okay. Uh, it's a contest basically. In, in Armenia. Yeah. In Armenia, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I took the first place in that. Uh, what? Yeah, oh, contest. Big I was, I was, right there. I was yes. like seven or eight years old. Yeah, wow. that time. I did not even understand what is it about, but when people were congratulating me and they were like, oh, you're so talented, you play, play very well. But this was very, very inspiring for me. And I think since then I started to get into the music more and more mm. and love the instrument more and more. So so we, especially as Arabs, we love the kanun a lot. Like you, you I'm sure you know that. But, um, of course. Uh, um, you also play the piano. I so, do. so how did it start? You played the kanun before the piano. Uh, tell me about the piano. Oh, so here is the story. Yes. So, uh, first of all, I wanted to go for piano. Okay. But my mom was like, my mom was the one who chose the kanun. By the way. Bless her. Shout out, mama. <laughs> Thank you so mama, much. Mama, mama, this is for you. If you're watching the camera, mama, yeah. love, love, bless you. 
<laughs> and then my dad was telling me, if you play the piano, you're not, you're only gonna play the piano. But if you choose the kanun, you're gonna play the kanun and the piano. Respect. And they were obviously right. So, <laughs> but the piano I did not learn with the teacher. I learned by myself. Wow. Uh, but kanun I learned professionally, but piano I'm like self-taught. Self-taught. Yes. That's great. So was it was it the kanun before the piano? What was it, which yes. instrument was first? Okay. Of course. Okay. Um, so when you look back at this time, um, if someone would tell you right now, choose between an instrument, a kanun and piano, which one, which one would you choose? Definitely kanun. Kanun, huh? Okay. <laughs> this um, got me the most, you know, fame and the most uh, mm. people love love the kanun. So. I, I mean, speaking of that, you are now based in the UAE. Um, I believe you, you came to the E 2018, 2019. Okay, can we talk about what brought you here? Why did you come here in the, in the first, like what, what got you to the UAE? Sure. I graduated in 2017 from the conservatory in Yerevan, in okay. Armenia. And then after one year, I got the invitation from UAE to perform at the Dubai Opera. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was. it was during Ramadan and I was performing for over a month, around one month during Ramadan. And it was really amazing to, to be around us. Nice. Was, it, was it your first time in the country? Yeah, it was okay. my first time in the UAE. And I fell in love with the country, the ah. people, the food, the vibe, everything was amazing wow so then from 2019 i decided that this is my place this is this is this is gonna be my new home and i moved here and i'm so glad for for choosing my second home to be uae the uae and yes. and and uh, wow this is amazing and we are we are so happy to have someone like you ladies and gentlemen we have bella papakian she's an incredible kanun player um and obviously play the piano but but again again i would say this She's an amazing human being, and I know I, I've seen her only two or three times, but she's so, um, the, the instrument that she plays and how she carries herself. Um, we're going to take a break, but she, you're going to see her and, and hear her perform um, in a bit. But seriously, uh, Bella, up next, I want to talk about your passion for Kanun, because I want to talk about Kanun as an instrument. But we're just getting to know Bella, get to know her as a human being. You might see her perform, especially now, in, um, especially in Ramadan, obviously that passed. Um, but yeah, God bless her. She's an amazing talent. Um, Bella, I want to put you on the spot. I want to play uh, a song right now for the people listening from you. Do you have anything in mind that we can play? Like you have, you know. Sure, put? I have something in my mind. Um, we can make them listen uh, to La Boheme by Charles Aznavour, the greatest chansonnier, who is, who is also Armenian. Yes? Of course, yes. <laughs> Bless that, amazing. <laughs> let's play that. So um, let's and, and, hear and, La Boheme. Amazing. We're going to hear that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, keep a luck. Do not go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Uh, we have Kanoon Vibe right here on Catch a Vibe. Uh, may Allah bless you as always. Keep a luck. It's Pulse 95 Radio. Catch a Vibe with Big S, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, right here on Catch a Vibe on Pulse 95 Radio. Uh, I have a special guest in the building. Her name is Bella Papakian. She is from Armenia. Big, big love and respect to Armenia. Um, she's a very talented kanun player. She also plays the piano, um, and she's very, very talented. Speaking of talent, we just got to know her a little bit, but I thought... Why not have her perform something for us right now? Um, so we're going to hear her perform for like a, a minute or so on the beautiful instrument of Kanun. And then we're going to take a short break. And then we're going to talk more about the instrument as Kanun, the history of it. Why does she, how much passionate she is about this amazing, beautiful instrument. So without further, um, uh, you know, kind of delay, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bella Papakian from Armenia. She's based here in the UAE and she's an incredible, amazing Kanun player. Um, Bella, whenever you're ready, take it away.
Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Bella Papakian, a very, very, very talented. We're going to take a short break and we're going to talk to her more about this. This was from the Armenian uh, culture, as I understand. But yeah, beautiful, amazing, very, very talented Bella Papakian. Keep a luck right here. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back playing a little bit of St. Levan and MC Abdul with Bira. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with Bella. Catch a vibe with Big Hass, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. Pulse. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back right here. Catch a vibe with me, Big Hass, every Saturday and Sunday right here on Pulse 95 Radio. I want to shout out Pulse 95 Radio for giving me this chance to get to know these incredible, you know, artists, human beings. Um, Catch a vibe is all about humanizing uh, the artists and getting to know them on a, on a, on a personal um, you know level. Uh, we have with us uh, an artist from Armenia. She's based here in the UAE. Um, she is incredible, Bella Papakian. She's a kanun player. She plays the piano as well. Um, but yeah, we just heard her play a little bit um, of uh, you know of, of something that she said from the Armenian culture. Um, um, first of all, Bella, t- tell me about the piece we just heard, uh, what, what you just played. The piece is called Siralis in Armenian. Siralis. Is, yes, which we, when we translate it into Arabic, it means my Habibi. No way. <laughs> my darling. Siralis yes. is Habibi. My yes. Habibi. Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> and, and is it something that all Armenians know? Like, is that... Uh, yes, the okay. song is very uh, popular. And it's uh, written by one of our modern composers, Armen Mandakunyan. Okay, amazing. Yes. Maybe we'll play it on the radio right now. Like, we'll see if we can play it. We'll see. Um, okay, I, I want to talk about kanun. This is an instrument when you start playing, like a lot of us, especially from the Arab region, get either nostalgic, we fall in love with, with the kanun and with the person playing the kanun. W- what does the kanun mean to you? And of course, it has such a rich history. Tell me about what you know about the kanun as Bella. Right. So the kanun is basically Eastern instrument because mm. many countries, they say it belongs to them, but we cannot find the region where it was ex- exactly correct. You know, corre- uh, yeah. created. Yeah. So we call it an Eastern, Eastern instrument. And we play it in Armenia, in Arab countries, yeah. for yeah. example, in Turkey, Turkey. They play in Persia, in yeah. Iran. Yeah. So it's a very Eastern instrument. It brings the traditional, you know, the ethnic vibes, the ethnic melodies. Mm. It's very like soul touching instrument. Is. Um, um, when you when you start playing it, do, do you feel that you fell in love more with Kanun as the more you play it? If you understand my question. Definitely. Mm. The more I play it, the more I fall in love. Especially, I try to play not only the uh, traditional Armenian music, but I try to play now already Arabic music, yeah. and I'm playing the international music, the classical music. So the more I get into the instrument, and the more I understand how many ways I can use the instrument to create different sounds, different music, it makes me fall in love with the instrument, how uh, various it is, how many sounds you can create from Amazing. this instrument. Mm, really, it's really like, beautiful. Like diverse. Um, you said something interesting. You said, obviously, you play Armenian music, but then you start mm. playing Arabic. Yes. Do, do you remember how did you get into playing Arabic? Obviously, you're here, so you ha- you're going to get requests playing Arabic music. And, of course, Arabic music is, is amazing on its own. But tell me about your feelings while you're playing Arabic music. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel so good. <laughs> the first, actually, artist that I covered uh, the song yeah. was Feruz. And no. I fell in love with Feruz. Oh I God. fell in love with the music. That's incredible. Oh, wow. And her voice yeah. and the <laughs> language, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And I was here in the UAE for the first time when they started to play for me. And by hearing, by the way, I don't play Arabic music by any notes. No way. I just hear the music and then I try to, you know... Um, transfer into the instrument That's so by crazy. hearing it, it it's really beautiful i love the arabic music and thank you for all the arabic artists and composers to for giving us this incredible incredible music oh bless you wallahi you, you're gonna you're gonna make me cry because feiruz is like obviously one of the legends um she is definitely yeah. a legend oh my god um can i ask you when you're p- performing for people right um so and you play something Arabic like that or whatever. What's the first feedback you get from people? Like, do they approach you, say, oh, my God, they get emotional? 
Tell me about that. Uh, firstly, they don't think that I'm not an Arab. Oh, they think you're Arab. The first, first impression is always that they think I'm an Arabic girl. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> and when they know I'm not Arabic, I'm Armenian, they're more excited and they're like, wow, how come you're not an Arab? And, you and play you're like playing that. the Arabic music so, so well, like an Arab, you know? And for me, it's so beautiful to hear this kind of compliments mm. and these comments because I, for being an artist, you have to play any music, you know? But Correct. I think for me, because I really love the Arabic music, so I feel it's really coming from my soul. I mm. really transfer my feelings into, into ah, the instrument. Love that, love that. Oh, Bella, perfect, yeah. We love you too. I think what's, um, you said something interesting in terms of, um, uh, as an artist, you have to play all, but um, w- with the Qanun especially, Bella, I can tell you that it hits, because I think that as Arab culture, we connect with Armenian culture. Like, Very well. Right? I don't know. You've been here now from since 2018 and 19. Can you tell me about some of the similarities between what you've seen in, in Arab and maybe Armenian culture? Some of it. Not only in the music, but at the culture itself. Yeah. There are so, so, so many similarities. Yeah. That's why I feel here is like home, you home. know, the family oriented like Armenians. They are very hospitable like Armenians. Yeah. They treat their guests very well like Armenians. <laughs> yeah. So I really yeah. feel like we Welcoming, are correct. very, very close by the culture, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I, so. I agree, I agree. I think culturally we're like, you know, um, we're very similar. Um, what you hear in the background right now is you performing, what is this? Historia dun amor. Oh. It's, it's beautiful. You know what? We're going to play the full thing for you guys and enjoy this uh, by Bella Papakia because she is just incredible, incredible. From Armenia. Armenia is proud of you. We are proud of you. Um, Bella Papakia. Keep it locked. Do not go anywhere. Enjoy the full version of this. We're going to be right back. It's Catch a Vibe. Catch a Vibe with Big S. Only on Pulse. Pulse 95. Only on Pulse 95 Radio, ladies and gentlemen, a big house right here. I'm with a special guest in the building. Her name is Bella Papakian, and we're having so much fun. Even off air, the conversation is amazing. Please go follow her. Uh, just type in Bella Papakian, you'll be able to find her. What an amazing talent. She's been here in the UAE since 2018, and she's just, um, you know, um, we're really embracing her. Uh, we heard her perform, obviously, something from the Armenian culture. And uh, we talked a little bit about her performing Arabic culture. And guess what? Right now, you'll hear her perform one of my favorite person records from the legendary Feirouz Sa'lin Nas. Um, and I love it. And this is why music was created, to kind of you make this bridge between East and West and just get, it, get, get us connected all together. So the fact that she's from Armenia uh, playing this record is a big deal. So, Bella, thank you so much. Um, over to you. Uh, this is, um, of course, Bella Papakian performing right here on Pulse 95 Radio's Catch a Vibe, Sa'alunina's by the legendary Feirouz. Take it away. Very, very talented artist. We're going to take a 
We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. But very, very talented. My, my heart is really jumping from happiness right now. I'm so, so blessed to have someone like Bella Papakian in the, in the studio. And actually, she's just educating me about Armenian music as well. So many Armenian incredible musicians that we're going to play. For example, right now, we're going to play um, Aram uh, Khasha Turian. Uh, and he's, of course, uh, you know, a composer, a conductor, a legend. We're going to play um, his song, um, which is called, what, The Waltz? Or, like, uh, Mascara uh, Waltz. We're going to play that. Just get get informed about, you know, the, 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 the music that's coming from Armenia. And we're also going to play another record by one of, um, obviously, Bella's friends as well. I'll keep that a surprise. We're going to be taking a short break and be right back. Keep it locked. Do not go anywhere. It's Pulse 95 Radio. Catch a vibe. Catch a vibe with Big Hess, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. Pulse. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back right here on Catch a Vibe, our last segment, uh, obviously, for tonight's uh, uh, episode, and it's been beautiful. One of my favorite chats, because Catch a Vibe is all made. When we when we launched, when I launched Catch a Vibe about nine months ago, it was all about humanizing the artists, getting to know them, getting to know how they think, what are their inspirations, what do they feel when they're feeling, what do they do when they're feeling down, the challenges, and everything and today's guest has been so special she's from armenia she performed for us she plays the kanun beautifully she performed for us a little bit from the armenian culture and right now we just heard her perform legendary Feiruz, uh, Nas. she is bella papakian bella again thank you so much for being here really appreciate your time thank you thank Seriously. you so much thank you um, for having me here bless you all right before we actually um you know um you know end uh tonight's episode i want to talk to you more about a couple of things you're challenges that you faced being a kanon player if someone would ask you that question what what would it be what's the what's the main challenge in your music career so far actually i faced so many challenges since okay. i moved to uae because i was alone i did not have many friends and mm. my family wasn't here you mm. know for a girl alone moving to a foreign country yeah. and uh, getting that must to know been to the culture, you know, I'd, I had so many challenges, especially the time when I just moved to the UAE after I was just getting into the business, I was just getting into the work and was getting exposed and then the COVID started and I yes. had to stay here. It was a really tough experience for me, uh, especially I was totally alone in the quarantine, you know, but Thank God, thank God. Everything Bless. is past now and everything is great. I'm doing well in my life and I'm doing very well in my career. Yeah. And really, I, I, cannot, I cannot thank enough to this country because of their support. I am really still staying here because during quarantine, I was having going through really tough times. Mm. But this country is incredible. The rulers, God bless them all. And because of them, because of their support, I am still I, here. No, I love and, and we love that. I love that you say that. But um, if you don't mind me asking, what's the when you talk about the challenges? Was it obviously you're coming to a new country? Uh, you miss home in the beginning. You miss family. How how were you able to pass through that? Like, what did you do? Is it more music? You're playing more music. Mm. Um, how were you able to pass through this stage? I remember I I was making more videos and I was getting like going viral during uh, Corona times, yeah. you know, so yeah, truly the music helped me to go through this time. That was a really tough time for everyone, not Correct. only for me and Correct. financially, mentally, Correct. you know. So now, thankfully, everything is in the past and we are back to back on track. Back on track. Um, if, if, if someone would ask uh, Bella Papakian, what, what is what is Bella Papakian's dream? Like when, you, when it comes to dream. Because you're, you're performing, especially now in the past Ramadan, you, you performed a lot and, and, and people obviously like your vibe. You have a certain image. You're, you're getting acquainted even with Arabic music, with international music and all. But what's your personal dream? What, what do you want to do as Bella? Oh, I have so, so, so many dreams. Give me one. Uh, one of them is to become an internationally known artist. Mm, okay. That, that's uh, my main dream, you know. I want to make this instrument very known in the world. As, uh, let's say, as, as Armenian lately, yes, because yes. I'm Armenian and I want to make my nation proud of me, but they are already, uh, which is making me super, super happy. And I have already achieved one of my dreams, which was to perform one of the biggest uh, artists, modern artists, the cellist Hauser. Mm. I've already achieved it. We did uh, five collaborations together. That's amazing. Now is the time to move on next goals, you know, not even dreams, like goals. Goals. Because I put the goals and then I achieve them and then can we nice. i mean you you perform with with hauser can we talk about that how did that collab happen oh. 
Oh, that's that's crazy story because I was going through a little bit tough time okay. mentally, and you know when you lose the motivation and you you don't know you need new muse to create yeah, and to, as an artist. Yeah. So that time I knew that Hauser was uh, in the UAE, and I I you... tried to get in touch. Okay. I messaged him, and you cannot imagine. After one hour, I got the answer back that he liked the idea of collaborating and no performing way. with me. Wow. And we met and we did five incredible uh, yeah. music together, music videos. I'm so happy for that. I'm so glad that he actually liked the idea and he respect to him though. Performed like a, with me. Yes. Yeah, that, that's really amazing. Um, speaking of that, social media and Bella Papikia, how how is how do you deal with social media? Because I know right now you have to be an artist, but also on social media you gotta post, you gotta tell people. Are you friends with Instagram? You like it? I love social media. I love to post on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. I love both uh, social media platforms, and I'm getting uh, more exposed nice. to, to not only in the UAE or in my country, but international wise, mm. because many many people from different countries are trying to comment on my post, yeah. and they are sending me very beautiful messages. You know, we cannot satisfy everyone, so I'm sometimes very little, but I'm getting also like some negative comments. But Can I know very what, are, little. what are these negative comments? Actually, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, they're not even personal. It's just some people, they don't like maybe the way that I dress during the okay, videos. Okay. I don't know. It's uh, it's very no. few. So so that's what some, something that, that, that's been on my mind because you have a, a certain image and a vibe that you, mm -hmm. this is who you think you are. And this exactly. kanun, mm -hmm. for me, this kind of my personal opinion. Kanun is such a traditional, traditional um, instrument. Mm -hmm. I think when people like you try to be in the same vibe, you're making young people fall in love with it more. And I think this is really a, a big deal. It, it, you know, it doesn't take one person. It takes a lot for you to change the perception about the Kanun. It's always like, you know, old and, and, and just, you know, right? Uh, and I think part of what you're doing is, is that you're making it. Bit. So true. Correct. So true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. I'm actually receiving so 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 many messages from young artists, mm -hmm. young ladies, yeah. like young girls yeah. and their moms, yeah. that I am the inspiration of their daughters or them to try start to play the kanun, you know, because for us and we used to know that only old people are like you know playing the kanun. Yes. It's not really known for. It, it was already like put back and there were more modern instruments in the first plan, you know. Correct. But now I'm trying, I'm really happy that I'm I'm the one of the reasons that yeah. uh, people start to play and yeah. love the canoe yeah, more yeah, yeah. and more, you know. And that's amazing. B big round of applause for Bella Papikian. Um, okay, so I, I got to talk to you about Armenia. Um, what, is, what, is Ar <laughs> what does Armenia mean to you, of course, and... Um, and, and, and what's the feedback from home when people see you, like at least your friends and family? Tell me more about that. Oh my gosh, Armenia is my heart. It's, uh, it's, I love my country so much and I'm really proud to be Armenian. And now after being exposed in the UAE, like uh, people really, they know, they do know me. When I traveled a while back to Armenia and people were already uh, recognizing me and they, they were like, oh, you're the girl who performs on the canoe in Dubai. I'm like, that's yes, amazing. I'm that girl. How, how does it make you feel like when you oh, hear it that? It makes me feel very proud, very proud. Yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. Like, obviously, you're obviously Armenian. You're based here in the UAE. And, and when you go to Armenia, people like you're, you're, you're making us proud. Uh, you know, if someone introduces yeah. you, Bella, Papa here from Armenia, you're also carrying Armenia with you. Exactly. It's a big deal. D do you feel... Do you feel like resp responsibility a little bit or? Of course, because Armenian people are a little bit judgmental. I get it, proud. Yeah, yeah they're, they're judgmental and they are, because we are very attached to our roots, you know, they want culture. the culture, you know, Love. they want a yes. kanun player to be traditional yes. lady wearing the traditional dress. So I'm, I'm kind of showing them that you can do both. I get it. I <laughs> you get can it. be traditional. You yes. can play the kanun and you can also modernize it, mm. you know. And I love that. So I think it's a, it's amazing. I mean, speaking of the challenges, the, the, the dreams um, that you had. But one, one of the cool things about you, and again, this is maybe the second or third time we meet, is you have a classy way about you. Now, when, we, when, when you hear that, where did this come from? Where is this patience coming from in terms of like, is it from playing the kanun? Or is it obviously the way you were raised, you know, shout out to your mom and dad and your family. 
T- tell me about that because you have a, a very beautiful vibe about you. Thank you so much. Thank you for noticing it. And I think it comes from uh, the way I was raised because my both parents are teachers. Wow. My dad is a the performer music, and yeah. a music teacher and my mom is a te- uh, teacher in the primary school. Amazing. So yeah, I think what this subject, is the way they... What subject did she teach? Oh, she's, she was very, you know... Uh, My family was very traditional. Till now, when I do something, my parents are always like, oh, don't do this, don't okay, do that. Okay. You have to do it in a certain way. <laughs> and I and I respect that and I appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate that I was raised in this manner, you know, because we, are, we live in the modern world. We see a lot of things going on around. Correct. And to be attached to your roots, to be tr- attached to your family, you know, in your traditions, in your culture, that's very, very important. Wow. Love and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, I was love. born and raised in that family. I love that. See, Thank like, you. Yeah, I love that you say that. Um, a couple more questions for you. So in, in, in the remaining of 2024 as, a, as this year, you said a couple of goals. What are, what are the things that you want to do as, as Bella? Are you working on a new cover? You're working on a new feature, a new collabo. Tell me a little bit about what you plan for the next, let's say, five, six months. Oh, to travel. Travel. <laughs> yes. To travel the world and to show the world who Bella is. Bella Papikia what's Tour. What's my passion? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what's my talent? And yeah, of course, I want to do so many collaborations. And as well as I want to start to produce new music, which nice. we, we spoke Inshallah. about it. Inshallah. Inshallah, I hope it will happen very soon yeah. and all my goals will come oh, bless uh, you. one after another. Um, when, you're, when you're performing, do you get nervous at all? Like when you're performing live and you see people, do you, does, does a little bit nerve come through, especially in the beginning of the performance? Um, I can say, honestly, it depends on where I'm performing for okay. the audience. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, sometimes I'm very, very chilled and very relaxed, but sometimes I'm really a little bit overwhelmed, you okay. know, I'm, I'm like a little bit stressed. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, the moment I start to play and the moment I start to see the audience reacting to me and they're happy, you know, their interaction, it's already giving me the most, most power. And I'm already like, you know, being more relaxed and I'm just enjoying the love show. Love it, love it. Um, Thank you. I, I want to hear something from you in, 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 in Armenian, anything yeah. at all. Okay. Like, like just maybe say hopefully you guys are having a good time in Armenian um, <laughs> sorry oh. to put you on the spot right here I know <laughs> oh my god it's, it's really like it's my language but now I know, when I you know. asked it I I'm know, like what do I say <laughs> uh, yeah anything <laughs> that's crazy wow that sounds cool Um, if someone is listening to us right now and they're like, hey, Armenia, I want to visit, where would you tell them to visit? Definitely to go to the capital. By the way, it's very near to the UAE and yeah. we are in the same time zone. Mm-hmm. So it's the same time now in the, in the Armenia. And they can go to the capital. And there are so many things. We, we have a very small country, but we are very full of nature and yeah. nice people and hospitable. You, they will enjoy the water because it comes naturally from wow. the mountains. Yeah. They will enjoy the food. I definitely, definitely recommend <laughs> everyone at least <laughs> once in their lifetime to For visit sure. Armenia. And they, will be, they will remember that small country, but the warmest country mm. for Love for a long that. time you, you know throughout this interview uh, Bella um, I got to know I got to know you more which I love I got to know that you're very passionate about your music and Kanun I got to know that you're you're very proud of your roots which is really important um, so yeah uh, I really want to thank you um, you know from the bottom of my heart but any any last words before we have a surprise for you guys by the way we're going to be playing a, 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 a song by one of um, Bella's friends we'll, we'll talk about that but any last words you'd like to say Um, Bella. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Bless you. It's incredible to talk to you. You're such a kind heart and soul. Now it's like I, it's all about you because you made me open up and talk oh. about my passion and you create an amazing atmosphere here. Oh, Thank bless. you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having me. Oh man, amazing. Bella Papikia, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, tell me about this amazing artist because oh. I just, we heard this record off air and I said, you know what? We have to play it on air. 
So tell me about Saro. <laughs> okay, Saro is one of my closest friends. Okay. And he's an amazing artist. He's incredible talent in Armenia. He's a singer. Okay. And uh, the song that I think we are going to put now, it's called Gohar, which is a treasure in Armenia. Yeah. Which also in Arabic, I heard you, yeah. that you said it, Johar is yeah. the same meaning, right? The jewelry. treasure. Yes. Yeah, the jewelry. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I love it. Well, uh, hello to Saro. <laughs> <to Saro. laughs> we love your song. We, we love your song. And guess what? Right now, Saro, if you're listening, this is a song we're going to be playing on the radio fully. I think this is the first time the song gets played on the radio in the UAE. Yeah? Oh right? my God. Maybe. I hope they like it. Yeah. Enjoy. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really love it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're we going to hear the full record. Uh, Saro, how do you say the last name? Tov Marcian. Tov Marcian. Yes. Saro Tov Marcian, right here from Armenia. He's actually Bella's uh, friend, and it's really cool. I love this record. You can hear a little bit of from here background. <laughs> I love it. We're going to play the full uh, version. I love you guys. We'll catch you on tomorrow on a new, new episode. Uh, Bella, your Instagram account real quick. B-E-L-L-A, Bella. P-A-P-I-K-Y-A-N. Papikian. Papikian, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, from Armenia to the UAE to the world, this is a person that I feel... She's going to go big, big places because she's authentic and real and very talented and humble. All these things. I wish her all the best. We'll catch you guys tomorrow on a new, new episode. Right now, enjoy Gohar from Asaro, uh, Armenia. To the world, we say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam.